are still unable to cure diseases like Alzheimer's or autism. And the Brain Initiative will change that by giving scientists the tools they need to get a dynamic picture of the brain in action and better understand how we think and how we learn and how we remember. It is Tuesday, April 2nd, 2013. Welcome to Lunch Break. I'm Wendy Bounds. President Obama proposing $100 million in federal funding to map the brain with a goal to treat disorders such as Alzheimer's. Wall Street Journal's Andrew Ackerman, he joins me now from Washington, D.C. Andrew, a big chunk of change there proposed. What is the ultimate goal of this project? Yeah, so the ultimate goal is to have a better understanding about how, you know, how the brain reasons, how, it, how you remember things, how you recall your memories. Um, and that's by doing this very comprehensive and ambitious mapping of the, of the brain. Now, there's, there's 100 billion neurons in the brain that, that affect memory and reason and emotion. And there's 150 trillion uh, uh, synapses attached to those neurons. And right now it takes years to map even one uh, uh, neuron. So they're, you know, they're, they're trying to get the public sector, I'm sorry, the, the National Institutes of Health, DARPA, National Science Foundation to sort of work more collaboratively with, um, with the private sector, with foundations, philanthropists, and to sort of um, set specific goals. Right now it's very open-ended, but uh, eventually they're hoping that they'll find, they'll, they'll have these very dynamic maps of the mind and that that will lead to cures for ailments like you mentioned. So the hundred million dollars would come from several different places uh, in the federal government. That would be part of, I assume, President Obama's proposed budget. Now I mentioned uh, Alzheimer's. What are some of the other practical goals uh, that might be out there? I understood that this might actually be of help to some military veterans returning with post-traumatic stress syndrome. Yeah, I mean, the goals are pretty lofty. I mean, that's something that the, that the president mentioned in his remarks this morning. Um, you know, they're, they're talking about, you know, cures potentially or, or you, know, uh, uh, you know, ways to help people with Parkinson's. Um, I don't know if it would be an actual cure, but, um, you know, like I said, it's very open-ended. You know, the thing about the $100 million is it's actually a pretty modest investment. It sounds like a lot of money. Um, that's the initial, that's the initial uh, request that they're going to make in their budget next week. The White House has a budget proposal for the fiscal year that's going to come out next Wednesday. Um, and, but $100 million is, isn't a whole lot in the grand scheme of things. Um, the president compared this to kind of like the to the Apollo space program, and that program I think cost twenty billion dollars, in you know at at the time. Um, that's more like one hundred and fifty billion dollars or two hundred billion dollars today. Um, so, so we're talking about a small amount of money. There'll be there'll be sort of matching funds from from you know philanthropists and companies, but it's still pretty modest, and it's not quite clear you know specifically what the goals are. Those are they're still um, gonna sort of figure out what they want the goals to be right. and set targets for them. All right, he liking it to the Apollo space program, which of course sort of helped eventually lead to the development of CT scans. Sounds like he's uh, thinking a lot about his legacy with this potential proposal. Thanks so much <laughs> for being with us. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right.